Hey YouTube Pipe community, OTC Piper here. Got a lot of things to go over today and uh, got a list going here. I had planned to put out a couple of blend reviews um, that I had recorded during my last bout of days off. I was going to uh, put out in the last couple days that, during the time that I was working and I wound up scrapping those videos. Um, I just wasn't happy with the quality because I, I like the fact, you know, I like the idea of doing first impressions, you know, when I get something that I've never tried before. And that's worked out for me before, but in this in this case, I just, there was so much dead air when I'm sitting there trying to think about how I want to describe what it is or if even identify myself. And there's a whole lot of dead air. I'd like to revisit those blend reviews when I have more time to put something, put more uh, into the video. Uh, so I will be doing those very soon. Uh, today I wanted to uh, make a, a uh, make sure I got it, this out there on my channel. Today there will be another joint mantle with the uh, Catholic Pipe Stutter. My brother is coming to visit for a little while. Um, I just wanted to make sure everybody knew we're, we're going to put that out as soon as it's uh, you know we complete it. We'll probably make it another 30 minute video or so. Our mantles usually go a little bit longer than that. But um, I'm looking forward to that today. So stay tuned for that. Um, let me consult my list here. I had uh, some new acquisitions I was going to talk about. Uh, I met, I was off yesterday morning and I met up with my brother for lunch. And uh, we went to a, some of the um, antique shops that I normally get a lot of pipe stuff for. I've seen. Uh, pipe stuff. There's not really a lot in my area. Uh, I know a lot of a, a lot of people find a lot of great stuff at the antique uh, stores. Uh, we we came up empty on a couple of them, and then we found some that had a few things. One of the things that I was able to get and this was on clearance. I don't know how it, it stuck around so long, but I got an 18 pipe carousel minus the pipes. These are all mine. With a jar and a, a little uh, humidifier thing, um, so that was uh, that was a good find. I scooped it up as soon as I got there and told them to hold it. I was buying that uh, as soon as I finished looking around their shop. So that one, I was glad to pick that up. Um, also, some estate pipes. This is one I actually got from uh, from my brother. He uh, he works with a guy. Uh, that used to smoke for many years and doesn't smoke anymore. And um, uh, I saw this, and he said uh, he was looking. He, he was needing a, a couple things that I had in 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 my cellar and in my. Uh, he was uh, looking for actually a new uh, pipe uh, carrier. He had a little tote bag he carries around, and I had something for him and talked a little bit about it. And I'll uh, present that to him uh, tonight when we do the um, the joint the mantle this really it's just marked italy it's just an italian briar pipe but that's you know anyone that watches a lot of mine knows that's the bulk of what i have is just a bunch of uh, you know italian briar basket pipes and such but this one you can just you know taste the the uh years uh you know you, you can just uh, i mean it's still ghosted perfectly um it's very good little pouch pipe pocket pipe and then there was one uh, let's see. This one is a um, Dr. Graybo Crown Duke uh, that I found. Uh, this one seems to be a little bit older. Um, not quite as smoked out, but uh, both of them are still in good shape. Uh, so I was, I was glad to find that one today. Um, I also uh, had a small, I guess this is a post Jabo. I didn't uh, do one at the time because I had to go meet, I uh, went to the post office, picked up my package, and I had to go meet uh, my brother and all that. Uh, I did uh, pick up, I mean, it was just very general, General. Um, speaking of which, because I got a general uh, in that mix today, uh, or that day, and I got a 16-ounce bag of the Stoka Bees uh, Burley uh, Without Bite, which has become one of my favorites just to have in bulk. Uh, and there was, there's a couple blends that I, I have, and I'm not smoking a pipe right now because I plan to in just a few minutes uh, to be doing that. Um, 
uh, some uh, Sutler Sweet Virginia and uh, Peter Stoker Beach Toasted Burley. I wanted to do a Virginia Burley blend, um, but maybe more of a higher scale. You know, this, you know, these are both uh, pressed and cut and you know, ready rubbed. Um, so, like, like one of my favorites being half and half. You know, this is kind of more of a high, higher end version of that. Uh, I bought a two ounce bag of the Sweet Virginia and a two ounce bag of the Toasted Burleys. And I did separate out just a little bit of this because I wanted to try them on their own. And I can tell you that I almost wanted to not blend them because I like each one of them as on their own. But I do want to see how they work together. So we're going to do that. So I have my blending bowl. Dump these out here. I want to go ahead and hurry up and get to this before um, I get too far into it so I can smoke my pipe with you. This is one of our kitchen bowls, mixing bowls that has become my pipe tobacco mixing bowl. I can just, uh, the, boy, the, the Virginias in this are just amazing. You know, that kind of, uh, not necessarily grassy so much as it is kind of like a tea smell. And the mellowness from the, mellowness from the burleys are right there with it. I already got my lid made up so I can remember what I have in here. And ha having having tried these on their own, I know that I'm I'm about to be ordering a lot of these. Well, I won't, I won't go through all, all that right now, but I have it right here. And that does remind me, just more housekeeping stuff. As I was putting my uh, burley into my jars and everything, uh, and I was picking up the bits that fell out, I remembered something I was going to talk about is the what I call My Mix 2018. I'm trying not to take too much from the, the Dunhill My Mixture thing, but I call it My Mix. Uh, this is this year, starting at the beginning of the year. Every time I've had some extras left over um, from like a tin that wasn't enough to fill up a bowl or something, I would just throw it into a jar and keep it uh, keep it cellaring. Um, and every time, like I have, I have my uh, day my uh, daily, you know, just pocket pouch that I keep a blend and a, a pipe in. A lot of times I get to the bottom of that and there's not really enough left. And I could sometimes I'll just throw something else on top of it if I'm in a hurry. But a lot of times I'll just dump it in the jar. And when I'm putting all my stuff into the into my jars I like to pack them pretty good when I have this the stuff that's falling around beside it I'll throw it in the jar and it just kind of becomes its own thing you know it's got a very unique aroma because there's so much of a mixture of everything in in here um so at the end of the year I'll have the entire year of all my you know it's just kind of a collage of everything that I smoked that year kind of a good idea that it's interesting to me um I'm, sometimes I'm kind of worried, well, there's just going to be so much stuff in there that you won't be able to pick one thing out from the other. But in another way, I think it's going to mix well to make a very unique product uh, that will never be the same again. Um, so, I, I, you know, I can enjoy this mixture and I may even do some sample bags and send them out. But um, it's just something, something interesting to, you know, enjoy at the end of the year. So let me set that back over here. So I'm going to, um, excuse me while I swivel, there it is, I'm going to try this um, Grebo that I picked up today. And this is, this uh, tobacco isn't really overly moisturized or anything like that, it's, it's pretty dry, um, I mean it's not crunchy dry, but uh, it's about where I like it to be. It's you know it's it, it's going to make a great cellar product I think. So this isn't necessarily a review. So I'm probably not going to go into too much depth about what all is coming out at me, but I will do a review on it when I have time to sit back and and think about it all. And I uh, hope this video doesn't get too long. There's some other things I was going to go over. Pack this in real good. Mm. Cannot 
find my box of matches I had open, so I will open another one. Let's see what we got. My matchbox is falling. Right. Hmm. So yeah, this is a very lovely blend. I enjoy it and I will be buying this in some considerable bulk. So, I'll get on with the rest of the list here. One of the things I found interesting was I have, I ordered a Country Gentleman before on my last Yavo. And the stem was a little bit loose, starting to get loose in it. So I ordered another one because they're, you know, very reasonable. This is my new one. Okay, here's my old one. And it had the Danish stem on it when I uh, purchased it last. So I ordered another Danish stem. And it didn't fit. It didn't fit right. It's just too big. I can probably maybe do some sanding work on it. But when I got my this other one, it had just a standard stem on it, and I'm not sure if they just changed it or or what happened with that. I don't know if anyone you know knows the details about that. But I got this one. I not I had already had this one coming in when I saw that one, so I thought, well, I hope it fits. And when I get it, and it doesn't really fit. I mean, this one works just fine. It's just starting to get a little loose in there, and needs a little bit of work. I you know where I clench it and everything. I'm starting to get a little divot. But I thought that was interesting. I didn't know that that had changed. Or if they did a small run with this Danish stem. But uh, just kind of something I stumbled upon. Anyways, since I've hit my 100 sub, I wanted to do a 100 sub giveaway. So I'm coming up, I'm trying to think of some ideas that would uh, make it interesting. Uh, maybe put a little bit of my own my own unique twist on it. Let me eat me some coffee real quick. One of the things that I I've decided to do is every time that I do a giveaway, I am going to include with my uh, tobacco and other things is a book uh, because I'm you know I, I push you know, reading and staying well read and, and keeping your mind and your uh, imagination engaged. And I try to do that as often as I can, be reading a book and stay away from, you know, all my devices and everything that distract me from things that are a little bit more important. On this giveaway, I've been, I talked about it a little bit before, but I went back and revisited The Alchemist by um, Paulo Coelho. And I ordered a this exact same book. And I thought, well, you know, I've gone through this book and, you know, I've gone through this book and have highlighted a lot of things that really made sense to me and, and that I thought was just a good nugget of wisdom and maybe maybe a little bit of something in my own life that I can identify with. And I thought, well, I would include that one, but then I got to thinking, I really want somebody to read it for themselves and to be inspired by this um uh, I mean, it's a small little, I mean, it's a great piece of literature, not a, not a long read, uh, you know, and, and to, you know, kind of note the things for themselves, um, what they find, you know, in this book. Uh, so this is the one that I just finished it, and I'm going to be doing a contemplations video uh, on it very soon. Um, but I see a lot of my, you know, the, the, the things that I've gone through in my life in this book, when you're trying to get you know, to where you know you need to be, a lot of times you go through a lot of, you know, un unhappy moments and everything when, uh, until you just, until you determine, uh, and, and understand that where you need to be is going to require you to do something about it. So, uh, anyways, just, 
I'll, I'll cut that, that part of it short. This is going to be part of the giveaway. Uh, and I'm going to include some things from my seller, and I'm going to order some things that I think would be good. Uh, so it will be coming up shortly. I'm not exactly uh, sure when, uh, but just stay tuned. I'm uh, gon going to be mulling over some ideas, and if anybody else has any ideas, I'd be glad to hear it. One of the things I am going to do, though, is, you know, we have a lot of people, you know, that comment that don't really have any video content. Uh, like uh, my brother-in-law, John Carter, he's posted a couple comments. He's a terrific guy, and I'd really like him to start doing some videos. Um, he's he's very interesting. Oh, there's, there's my matches. Sorry. Had an ADD moment. Uh, he's a very interesting guy. And uh, I want him to start doing some videos. And there's a lot of people out there that are going to be in the same boat. Uh, there's so much that they could offer. So one of the things that I'm going to do is if you do a VR, and I would require a VR, if you haven't done anything, if you haven't put out any content, and that's your first one, and let me inspire you to go out there and start making content. And I'll say you, you'll get an additional entry uh, for being, you know, for that being your first video into uh, into this community. And I would hope that you would uh, stick with that. So those are just some things that I wanted to go over. Uh, that that'll be coming up soon. So stay tuned to the channel. Um, so there were some, uh, you know, a few shout outs I was going to do. One of the uh, um, presenters that I just started um, following and I'm behind on, I need to go back and after I finish this video, I'm going to finish this pipe and catch up on some of his content as Piping Pirate. Um, had a little bit of dialogue with him in the comments and um, puts out some good content and um, I, you know, I, I enjoy watching his stuff, so uh, if you haven't already, go give him a look. Uh, Unicorn Piper, you know, he just, uh, if you follow him, you know, he just, uh, uh, he's recovering from an accident, has some pipes for sale, um, kind of an unrelated uh, deal. Uh, and as, as of the making of this video, he had four sold, and one of them was remaining. It looked like a pretty nice pipe, so uh, if you're inclined, go uh, check it out. Uh, so, those two things. Uh, that's my shout outs and just about everything I wanted to go over so uh, we're at 18 minutes so uh, before this thing gets beyond 20 I'll go ahead and sign off uh, stay tuned today for the joint mantle with uh, Catholic Pipe Stetter I think that's going to be a good time uh, it always is whenever we can get together and uh, smoke a pipe and you know right here in person so uh, stay tuned for that and um, you know until next time OTC Piper wishing everybody all the best here's the good times and a warm pipe